how to identify an isolator. I am electrical engineer. To learn about this, please don't skip this video till its last. Here I just showed you a two pole isolator. On the top of the isolator, you can see an indication like this. Okay, I just enlarged this thing over here. Here it is a switch. Okay, and because of the two pole isolator, here I just mentioned the two switches. If it is a single pole isolator, then you can see only one switch like this on the top of the isolator. These are only the normal switches. It will not give you any thermal and magnetic tripping functions. Suppose this isolator is of 10 amps, then if the current on this circuit is more than this 10 ampere, then this isolator can't give you the thermal protection. That means it will not get tripped automatically. And at the same time, it will not give you the protection of this magnetic tripping also. That means if any short circuit happens on this circuit, then this isolator can't trip automatically. Because it will not give you any magnetic tripping characteristics, you cannot see the B, C or D curves just before this 10 ampere. You can see only this 10 ampere on the top of an isolator. By that, you can identify it is an isolator and not an MCB. And you can also say this isolator is an offload device. And why you can say it is an offload device? See, here I just showed a DB, distribution board. And in this DB, it is our main isolator. And after that, I just showed the three MCBs. Okay. If the loads are running now, that means the current is passing through the circuit and in any condition, if you want to switch off this isolator, first you need to switch off all these MCBs and make sure that your loads are off. And only after that, you need to switch off your isolator. Because you know, this isolator has no any arc quenching mechanism. If the current is existed on both sides of the isolator, that means at the condition of when the loads are on the running, at that time, if you switch off this isolator, then at that time, the arc will be formed and it will cause a fire hazard. That's why we call it as an offload device. But if there is an MCB is on the place of this isolator, then you can easily switch off your main breaker without switch off these MCBs because the MCB has the arc quenching mechanism. So we can call the MCB as an on load device. So my opinion is if you want to give your home a better protection, you must avoid this isolator and always use the circuit breakers. I hope you understood this topic. If you like this video, please consider to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.